And if the reef collapses, is that like it? Like that's it? The reef collapsed, GG no re, it's over? Or like, I don't know, man, that's scary. What's up, my stranded friends? This is KJ48, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play for Bermuda Lost Survival. There has been a huge update in this game. Um, I'm going to go over uh, some of the things with the update. The update is called the First Encounter Update. All right, and as we're going over the update, I'm going to actually swim and look for some sticks. Okay, <laughs> don't don't worry, guys. We need sticks. We need stones. You know the way survival games go, right? Anyway, uh, so what's with this update? So, discover and experience a new reef called First Encounter. I've heard some stories that this game is going to have aliens in it. Some kind of storyline with aliens. So that sounds pretty interesting. Um, so yeah, First Encounter Reef. Um, experience the visual reworked Sunken Ashes Reef. Um, a new enemy has risen from the depths. New shark... Uh, new sh shark species and AI behavior. Um, new player actions now have impact on the ecosystem of a reef. Okay, one second. Let me, uh, I gotta grab some sticks. This is super duper important. Um, I will show you why I'm grabbing sticks in a moment. We'll go over the UI and all that good stuff. And uh, I'm pressing obviously F to pick up the sticks as it says there on the screen. Um, those are planks. I'm gonna need planks as well, but not right now. Um, now, as far as I know, the only way you can get stuff right off the bat is to pick it up off the ocean floor. Um, so that's what we're doing. Anyway, so your uh, actions are going to affect the ecosystem. Killing too many predators, overfishing can make a reef collapse. Keep the natural balance to ensure supplies. That is really interesting. Um, every type of food now has a spoil rate and chance for food poisoning. New craftable equipment available. Tier 3 tools, spear guns, and scuba tank. Oh my god, I want the scuba tank. Oh man. So anyway guys, yeah. You know... Bermuda lost survival. You get it. We're in the we're in the Bermuda Triangle, and we're lost. You know, we started off on a raft. Um, this game has a lot of really cool elements to it. Like you could build um, all kinds of interesting stuff. You could build a floating base. You can build rafts yourself. You could build all kinds of stuff. There's skill system in the game. We're gonna go over it all. Um, but right now, I'm grabbing sticks and stones. And the reason I'm grabbing sticks and stones is because the first thing I want to make is going to be a knife. Now, if you hold down Tab, that brings up your smartphone. That's kind of like strapped to your wrist uh, i guess it's supposed to be like a um a watch but that looks like a smartphone to me um and it's gonna have your thirst your food your the little brain is your sleep and obviously the plus is your hit points um and what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold down a certain button to craft and i don't remember what that button is i think it's e there you go and um you got right here you got a knife an axe a spear a bottle and a compass these are all blacked out because I don't have any of those. You've got your inventory, your construction, and what we're going to look at first is going to be our equipment. Now, you don't really craft stuff like this. You don't craft stuff in this game like you do in other games. You kind of like make it once and then you have it forever and then you can upgrade it. So we're going to start with a stone knife. We do need some rope, some sticks, and some stone. And again, as far as I know, you can't get any of these items by like craft, like harvesting them. You have to find them. We've already found sticks. Uh, we're going to have to find some rope and some stone. There's going to be some shipwrecks around here somewhere. And I think that's where we're going to find the rope. And I think right down here we will find some stone maybe? Uh, what is that? Is that just... Wait, what is that? Is that wood? Yeah, those are planks. Anytime you hear that beep, it means your oxygen is a problem. You need to get up to the, to the surface. It's going to be very unforgiving in the beginning of the game. Um, and if you hold down sprint, you will... You know, if you hold down shift, uh, you'll you'll swim faster. But I think you also use up more oxygen. Okay. Um, so let's just uh, keep looking out. And I think the ship I'm looking for is not... That's not the ship I'm looking for. That is not the ship you're looking for. I think I'm going to look for the big ship. There's like a ship with like a mast. I think it's called a mast, right? That's like really close to the surface. Not close to the surface, but it kind of sticks out. Yep, right there. See it right there? It's kind of like stick. Actually, it is pretty close to the surface. We're going to go check that out in a moment. But you know what I just realized? I kind of want to save the game. So I think I can save the game right now. So this is my raft that I started off on earlier. We have some health kits. We have some glow sticks. We have some food. We have this right here, which is your crafting menu. Oh, you actually start off with stuff. No, that's my inventory. Never mind. The crafting menu is over here. All right. Well, that's not the crafting menu. You have to put stuff in your crafting box in order to use it to craft. Uh, right here is uh, where you can sleep and save. You can choose how long you choose to sleep. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go ahead and save. There we go. These are all the wrong versions. These are all past versions. So I'm going to go ahead and delete all those. And there we go. We're nice and saved. All right. So let's find this uh, ship. Yeah, there should be some rope. I can see the rope from here. Beautiful. So we're going to get some rope off here. And then we're going to get some stone. And then we will be on our way to thriving. There we go. 
Got some rope. We'll go ahead and grab some more rope because I can. There we go. Looks like we've got some more rope here, and now we just need to find some stone. Now, last time I played this game, finding stone was a real pain in the ass. Um, we'll see how bad it is now, though. I'm um, not seeing any. Uh, well, nope, there's some. I wonder how many I need. I think I only need two. Let's get some oxygen, because we're probably going to need... Yep, there we go. There's the first beep. I don't think you really have to worry too much about the first beep, maybe. I don't know. I just... I take it very seriously. Hey, is it showing oxygen? Oh, it is. Look. It is showing oxygen. It's just... It won't show the oxygen if you hold the tab key. That's kind of weird. I wish it would keep showing the oxygen. So it does show oxygen. That's cool. Now that, I, now that I'm seeing that, I kind of remember it. And we'll grab that piece of stone too. And then we'll go up and we'll craft ourselves a knife. Now, once you have a knife, you're going to be able to start harvesting materials, which is so much better. There's going to be crates down there. And last time I played, stuff did respawn every day. I hope that's still the case. And um, when you break up the crates, you not only can get stuff from the crates, like sticks and wood, but you can also get things like, um, well, stuff that's in the crate. So there we go. Yeah, you see, you don't really craft, you unlock it. It's so weird, right? Yeah. All right, the next thing we're going to be looking to unlock is the improvised bottle. We need to worry about hydration first and foremost. Uh, sticks and rope are not a problem. Scrap, honestly, is not really going to be a problem either. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and bring up the... Yeah, the, the, the controls in this game, the crafting and the controls are a little... They take a little bit to get used to. So you have to hold down E and then go over to the thing you want to use. There you go. And anytime you sprint or sprint, like... You know, I call it sprinting, but it's really swimming fast. Um, you put your item away, which is um, a little irritating, but once you remember how to take it out, it's not really that big of a deal. So there we go. We're going to harvest this. So I get sticks from this, but I think if I use an axe, I'll get planks, maybe? And we're going to harvest this whole thing and see if we get anything out of it. Because I think when you harvest these, the idea is there's something in the crate, and once you've broken it open, you can get more stuff. Uh, yep, I got two rope from it. Did you see that? Cool. All right. Also, you need to keep a lookout um, on the bottom left-hand side. I don't know if you saw it, but there's like a little bag icon. Uh, if you become over-encumbered underwater, right? Where is it? Come on, show the freaking icon. Eh, it only shows it when you're harvesting stuff. Let me go harvest some more, and then you guys can see the bag. Because I want to make sure you guys see the bag, because it's important. Because um, if that bag gets over encumbered when you're underwater, at least last time I played, I haven't been over encumbered in a while. But the last time I got over encumbered, you simply cannot swim up. You have to drop stuff. You will stay on the bottom of the ocean and die, you know, just die if you don't empty your bag to get back up to the surface. It's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. I'm not going to lie. All right. So let's take a look at our stats here. Um, now, when you eat and drink, you're going to eat and drink canned food, and that will give you scrap. So I could just do that for the scrap, but it's taking me a while to need to eat, so I'm not going to really bother with that. I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to look for barrels. See if I can find some barrels, because there will be some barrels down here. Okay. I just got to find some. I, yeah, I can't get it off of that. That's metal, but I can't get it off of that. I know that. Let's go ahead and grab some more of this rope. I'm a little concerned about the fact that you can't over-harvest fish. In an ecosystem? I, I don't know what that means exactly. I, I need specifics. Like, do I have to, like, go to different reefs to harvest fish? Can I grow food? I know I know you can plant stuff. I just don't know how hard it is or if it's, if it's like, a sustainable food source, like a real food source. You know what I mean? Um, over there are big containers. And you see that little, like, glowy thing? That's where you could put dynamite to blow those containers up. So that's always a lot of fun. Blowing stuff up is fun. Uh, so let's come on over here and see if we can find some barrels. There's going to be some barrels around here somewhere. I know I'm probably, see like, looking at some and not noticing it. And you guys are like, Cage, there's a barrel right there. I'm sure there is. I'm sure there is. All right, guys, I found a barrel right here. So I'm assuming you can harvest this with your knife. Maybe? Probably? Wrong tool. You cannot. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That means we need, we need to make an axe. We probably have about everything we need for the axe. I don't know if I have enough stone. Getting stone's a bit of a pain. Um, oh god, you need five stone? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't have anywhere near five stone abilities. Oh, here's your abilities. You've got strength. Uh, those are all locked. <laughs> endurance is locked. Survival is locked. You know, strength will do things like, I guess, let you harvest more. Endurance will probably let you breathe longer underwater. I, I thought this would tell you what they do, but it doesn't seem to. And survival, who knows? We'll find out as we, um, as we unlock things. So I'm going to go ahead and look for some more stone. I can't believe I need so much stone. There's got to be an easier way to get stone, right? Or maybe there's not. Maybe you don't need a lot of stone after you've made your, you know, first set of tools. 
That's what I'm thinking. Because I remember stone being a problem early game, last time I played. But um, then it became less of a problem as time went on. Also, this stuff right here is plastic. You're going to need a lot of plastic, so you want to start getting it early. Oh, I didn't even notice, man. That first beep was when I'm at half health. That's so weird. The freaking... Yeah, so you want to grab that plastic. You know, sooner rather than later. There's also stuff in the plastic. They're like plastic bags. So you see, when I grab that plastic, I got a bunch of seeds as well. So that's cool. Um, they're just, you know, they're plastic bags. Uh, what do we got down here? Any stone? I see some stone. All right, we're about half oxygen. So let's just grab a few stone here. I think we have two, three, four, five. Uh, I, I waited too long. This could be a problem. This could be a problem. Also, this, the whole sprint swimming thing seems to wear off sometimes. So you got to... Yep. Heartbeat. Okay. Now, did we take any damage there? Eh, a little bit. We could sleep that off. We could sleep that off. No biggie. All right. So let's go ahead and make the axe. We should have everything we need, right? Yes, sir. Now we have an axe. So let's get some metal now. Great. We need to find another barrel. <laughs> I found the barrel and then I went swimming off after a stone and now I don't know where the barrel is. Now I'll find it again. Shouldn't be too much trouble. I'm also going to grab some of this plastic while I'm going along. Uh, again, grab this plastic early. People told me that in my last game. Like, grab the plastic early and I never did. And not that I didn't believe them. I just, you know, I don't know. I never did. By the way, that's clay. And that's like the only place to get clay in this reef. I guess this is called a reef. Is that what an area is called? I guess. Um, I could make a buoy out here to mark this. Although I don't know if I can just yet. I probably don't have what I need to either. But you can make buoys. So once you, once I find that again, I can make a buoy um, to mark it. And we got some boxes down here. But I'm not seeing... Oh, I wonder if I could break that apart for clay. I think you used the clay to make terracotta or something. I don't know. Whenever I hear terracotta, I just think of the terracotta army from Civilization. <laughs> One of the wonders. I, I'm guessing it's an army made of clay? I don't know. I don't know. Oh boy, where are these freaking barrels? Of course, now that I need one, I don't have one. When I found one earlier, I couldn't harvest it. Because that's just the way it goes. Oh boy, sun's going down and I just found another barrel. So here we go. I don't know how much metal we're going to get out of this, but... Um, uh, I keep pressing tab to get my inventory stuff up. That's going to take a little bit of getting used to. Alright, so there we go. So we're getting one, two, three. We're going to get five, right? Yep. Alright, five scrap. Beautiful. Yeah, it's 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 imperative that you get these uh, bottle the bottle thing made as soon as possible and start um, getting water supply getting a water supply going. I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna swim back here. We're gonna eat something, uh, and I think if when you eat the food that you start with, I think it does give you hydration as well. Although I don't know for sure. Uh, we're gonna find out together. I'm gonna drop everything off, sleep through the night, and I'll see what see what's what. All right, first things first. Uh, well, now nah, we won't do that because we we're gonna need the stuff we have on us to make the bottle so there we go 10 sticks three right yeah nope it's this right here oh yeah i got all that easy peasy uh should we make the stone spear five stone we don't have the stone we i'm pretty sure we don't have that much stone all right fair enough the bottle the bottle is what i really want so once you get the bottle what you want to do is um you bring the bottle and then you kind of like oh do you have to actually go in the water to fill this up now hold on maybe we don't no, it said fill, now it doesn't. Aw. All right, well, I know going into the water will work. So when you go into the water, you just hold down the left mouse button, and you just don't let it up. It'll just continue collecting salt water. It's going to take two salt water to make one uh, drinkable water source, and uh, we're going to have to make some kind of... Uh, I forget what you make to, to put this in. I, I think you boil it, or... I don't really remember. I don't really remember. We're going to go check it out together, though. Let's get 30. There we go. Okay, so let's come on up here. Now, that's salt water. You can't be drinking that. So let's just uh, put that away. I wonder if there's any way to put stuff away. We can take out the knife again. All right, let's grab one of these. And let's go ahead and eat that. Uh, inventory. And consume. It's going to give us 60 hunger and 30 thirst. Actually, do we need that much? 60 hunger and 30 thirst. Let's make sure we need that. I don't think we need 60, 60 hunger. So you know what? I don't think I'm going to do that. I don't think I'm going to do that. All right, so let's come in here and let's take a look at crafting. These are all the things you can make. Now, this is, this is just a raft I started with. This is a very basic 
crafting setup thingamabob. And this is all the stuff we can craft. A bunch of... Uh, let's just go through it. Uh, foundations, walls, door frames, wooden frames, ceilings, rope ceilings, wooden walls, wooden railings, catwalks. Um, here we go. Purifier. Uh, let's go ahead and craft the purifier. Wait, no, see, you can't craft it. Uh, let's go through this stuff first. Drying rack, chest, workbench. Okay, well, there you go. Uh, so you can't craft stuff until you have stuff inside the, the crafting menu of the item, which is very different from a lot of the games I've played, but I, it kind of makes sense. I really don't have any problem with it. It's just kind of different. Uh, now, do we have everything? Uh, do we need any stone for that? I didn't see. Uh, doesn't say it. Um, what am I missing? Five scrap. Oh, I don't have any scrap at all. Oh, okay. All right, well, let's let's go see if we can find some scrap. Oh, God, it's nighttime. Uh, well, we do have to sleep in this game. So, do I want to sleep? I don't know. If we sleep, it's going to really hurt our, um, you know, our nutrition. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to save. And I'm going to try not to sleep. Because I, I think you could pr pretty much see well under here. I won't record during the night under here because... It's, it's dark for you guys. I can see just fine, but it's dark for you guys. So let me go ahead and find another barrel and uh, get five more scrap. And then we're going to go ahead and make that water purifier. Awesome. I found a couple barrels right next to each other. Again, if you're underwater and you use the sprint command, the shift command, uh, it's not really called sprinting because you can't really sprint underwater, but you get what I'm saying. Um, swim faster. Um, you automatically put your tool away. So if you're underwater and you don't want to put your tool away, you know, make sure you don't use the sprint button. Shift, AKA shift. All right, so we're going to get up there. Um, I know it's a little dark. I said I wouldn't record during the night, but we're about to get back to our base, so it shouldn't be a big deal. And um, I did level up two of my skills, so I'm going to show those to you once we get up here. Okay, and let's take a look. Oh, wow, the sun's coming up already. Wow, really? Or is that just it going down? Uh, well, I don't know. It's got to be going down, right? Yeah, it's probably going down. All right, anyway, let's take a look at our skills. That's E and inventory. No. Now, see the the get, working with the UI here is just kind of it's going to take some getting used to. But there we go, we got abilities. All right, so I got arm strength one, where I swim faster, and endurance training lung or trained lung holds your breath a little bit longer. That's pretty cool. I like that. I'm, yeah, I like these. These are the ones I'd want more than probably survival, but I'm sure survival is going to be pretty cool too. All right, so let's put these in there and let's go ahead and make ourselves a purifier. Now, I don't know if I can put this down in my raft. I might have to make a, you know, I might have to make like a platform first, but we'll see. We shall see. All right, so double click. How do I, there we go. And okay, so now we got to do the building menu. So what is the building menu right here? Construct. There we go. And you cannot put this down here. Yep, I didn't think so. I didn't think they were going to let you do that. All right, fair enough. That's pretty cool. I got no problem with that. Uh, go down to that and then press E. No, right click, left click, space bar. I don't know. <laughs> I want to like clear this out. Deconstruct. I don't want to deconstruct anything. I don't want to move anything either. It's blocked. I can't get out of this menu. All right, guys, in order to get out of that menu, I had to switch to something else. And that's that seemed to work. So I'm also dying. Like, I, like if you look at my stats right here, I can't afford to wait any longer. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and eat one can of food consume there we go so that's 60 so that that was wasting it right oh no 60 okay so my food was at 50 percent, but that doesn't mean 60 so i don't know i figured if my food was at 50 percent, that would mean 50 would fill it up i figured 60 was 60 percent, but that's not the case so it's actually pretty cool it means i didn't waste anything all right so let's come over here to our crafting table and let's go ahead and make a wood foundation no we won't because we don't have the boards okay all right i'm gonna go get some boards should i sleep through the night how bad is my brain thingy no it's all right i don't have to sleep through the night not a problem so i'm gonna come down here to get some boards basically what i'm gonna do again it's dark so i'm not gonna record it but what i'm gonna do is i'm going to um break open some of the um some of those chests remember that like crate i was breaking up with the knife if you break it up with the axe you know you will get um planks instead of sticks so i've collected a pretty decent amount of wood and i think i am actually going to sleep till morning this is a pretty cool mechanic by the way you just set how many hours you want to sleep and it kind of tells you like you know oh, there you go the sun's up so we're gonna go ahead and sleep it is going to de deplete our thirst and hunger oh that's not even that good i would like it to be properly 
Oh, you know what? It woke me up early because I'm thirsty. Well, there you go. That's interesting. All right, so we're going to grab one of these. When I was down below, remember how I told you with those crates, if you break them up, you get certain things? Well, I got some supplies, by the way. Every time you see me do that, it's because I'm trying to open up my inventory with tab. Anyway, when I broke up one of those crates, I did get supplies. So there you go. So we're going to go ahead and consume that. And we see we're getting metal from it, which is awesome. We're going to throw this stuff in here. There we go. I've got some seaweed as well. We'll talk about that later. We're going to go to the crafting menu and go ahead and make yourself foundation. And now we will be able to get our water purifier. I guess it's a water purifier. I don't know exactly what it's called. Probably water purifier. Um, I, I didn't read it. I just know what it does. All right. So let's uh, go ahead into the build menu. There we go. And here we go. And there we go. And uh, I think R. How do we uh, E? I forget how to rotate. Mouse wheel? It's not mouse wheel. Oh, boy. I really should figure out how to rotate. So I went into the game menu to see how to rotate. And there was no rotate button. I'm like... That doesn't make any sense. Why would there be no rotate button? I'm like, oh, you know what it is? You press the button once to place it, and then you look around to rotate it. There you go. All right. So we're just going to put that right there. All right. Now we're going to get on that bad boy. And we're going to put this thing down. It doesn't really matter where. We just got to put it down. We don't need to rotate it. It doesn't matter. All right. There we go. And now we just put some water in there, and I think it happens automatically. Yeah, there you go. There you go. So there you go, guys. We got some water coming in. That is a beautiful thing. So let's just go ahead and dump this in here. And I think we're just gonna. Well, what do we want to make next? I don't know. I didn't. Honestly, I didn't think I'd get. I didn't think I'd get this far in episode one. So let's let's see what we want to make next. You know what? I think it's got to be the crafting table, right? Actually, it's got to be more wood foundations. Yeah, it's definitely got to be more wood foundations. There we go. I think I think food might be an issue. So maybe uh, the thing is, I want to start like fishing, but I don't want to overfish the area. I have no idea what is overfishing the area. Is overfishing the area catching one fish, catching ten? Well, it's not one fish, obviously, but you know how many fish is overfishing? That's what I want to know. So, all right, why won't this connect? Come on. Uh, okay. Oh, there we go. And we'll just connect it right there. It looks pretty good. Facing the same way. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. I think the next thing we're going to want to make is a crafting table. So let's see what we need for the crafting table. Uh, workbench. All right. So we need planks, sticks, and ooh, a decent amount of scrap. We can also make buoys now. Cool. That's going to come in handy. All right. Cool. Let's come down here and do some more farming. Put that away. All we got to do is swim fast to put that away. Now, did the crates respawn? It doesn't look like it. I probably farmed late enough into the night that they wouldn't have respawned. So that's, you know, that's fine. There's one right there. So let's come right here and let's do that. Yeah, so I think our next uh, our next concern is going to be fishing. And we need to decide, like, guys, you got to help me, man. Have you been playing this game? What is overfishing an area? And if the reef collapses, is that like it? Like, that's it? The reef collapsed? GG, no re? It's over? Or, like, I don't know, man. That's scary. That's scary. I hate not knowing things like that because I don't want to, like, you know, fish out the entire area. And, like, I mean, that could, like, ruin your game, right? Isn't that over? Like, if the reef... What does the reef collapsing mean? What does it look like? So many questions. <laughs> so many questions. All right. Well, you know, first things first. Let's get some planks. Let's build our base. We'll see what's what. We need to get a raft so that we can go around. Is there a map? Yeah, I don't know if there's a map, but pressing M doesn't bring anything up for whatever that's good for. What is that? What is that? Can I harvest that? Yes, I can. Terracotta. Told you. What did I tell you? I'm always right. Even when I'm wrong, I'm right. There we go. And we'll open this bad boy up, see if there's anything in there, as well as getting the planks. Come on. Nothing. It's fine. The planks are what we really needed. Can I break this up? Some of these ships... Oh, you can! Oh, that's awesome. See, some of the ships you can break up, but that harvest thing has never been there for me before. So, like, you just kind of had to hit ships and guess. Now there's no guesswork. You look at a ship, you know instantly if you can harvest it. And that, that, my friends, is a beautiful thing. Look at that. 
Guys, are you excited about this game? Uh, have you played it before? Have you seen me play it before? Um, is this brand new for you? Let me know in the comments. Let me know if you want to see more. If you do want to see more, make sure to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. I am obviously going to call this one here, guys. I'm going to do some farming off camera, and then I'm going to record the second episode right away. So if you guys leave any comments on this, any tips or anything like that, and I don't bring them up next video, just know that I recorded these back to back. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then... Take it easy.